What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Check it out, we back at you again with another Soul Food Sunday. Now listen, you know I do this every year, right? I'm doing it with Soul Food Cooking. We'll put a link down in the description box below and in the comments, and you guys gotta remember this hashtag, hashtag Soul Food Sunday. You guys gotta take a look. Listen, I've been checking on it and I've seen other channels dropping their own videos, you know, and everybody, you know, putting their take on Soul Food Sunday, so go by. Hey, you know what, feel like I'm rambling? Check out the hashtag and let's get it. Now, as you can see, it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with, let's just go with the grits. Okay, we got our grits right here. That's just a half a cup. What I'm getting ready to do is, I'm just getting ready to make, you know, just two cups, because this is just gonna be for two people, right? Here, you know, you got chicken broth. Listen, follow the instructions that's on your uh, your grits box, you know what I mean? And you make them like that. But instead of water, you're gonna substitute them, and you gotta put the chicken broth in there. That's what does it. And then what's gonna send it over the top is, Check this out right here. This is just natural, you know, smoked cheddar, right? New York cheese. I want you guys to look right there. Look, it says age nine months. And I can tell you this right now, listen, it is so fragrant. This is gonna put that nice, smooth, smoky blend in there. With a, It's gonna have a nice little bite to it. Okay, now, okay, we covered the grits. Now, look, we got green onions, just with the large bug on the bottom. Now, you see I got a whole, look, this is a whole red bell pepper, right? But I got some pieces that was left over from a previous cook. I'm gonna dice these down. Then we got chicken and dewey sausage. You gotta have some butter. Listen, the butter and dewey sausage, my red bell pepper and my green onion, listen, that's gonna be all tied together because listen, that's going inside the grits. Hey, now right now I'm gonna tell you how to, we gonna turn this up and take it over the top, right? And then right here, this right here, check this out. This is Sweet Smoky Joe's, this is the Cajun Black. I put this on all of my fish since we getting ready to do, hey, since we talking about this right now, this is a good segue to go ahead and jump right into this right here. There you go, this is the star right here. Look, I got two fillets of catfish and this right here is a wild caught, this is wild caught tilapia. So two catfish and one tilapia. Okay, now look, I wanted to show you guys this part right here when you're dicing your, you know, your veggies and you know your andouille sauces. Listen, it's the size. This is what's gonna ultimately all end up in, you know, inside of your grits, right? So you don't want them too big and you don't want them too small. You just want a nice blend. So that's why I'm giving you an example there. So once you got all the, everything uh, diced, go ahead, heat up your cast iron skillet if that's what you're using, melt your butter, and then everything that you have diced, you wanna put it in there. Look, that's key, because you see that butter? Listen, we're gonna start rendering down that bell pepper, that green onion, and starting to soften up and release those flavors from that andouille sausage into inside of that uh, inside of that butter. So when that's done, what you want to do is get yourself a, a slotted spoon, or if you get a spoon, you're gonna see what I did. I leaned it towards the edge right there because I'm trying to leave as much of the butter and juice and flavor in the pan. You know why? Because we're getting ready to make ourselves a Cajun gravy, and we got a jump start on it. Okay, now I'm getting ready to make me some you know, some Cajun gravy, right? You gotta have some type of gravy when you do the, you know, the cheesy grits, right? So we'll start with that. I'll leave the, the, uh, all of the ingredients, the ingredient list down in the description box below. So let's melt this and let's get it started. Now, when you're sprinkling your flour, you wanna sprinkle it and spread it around. Don't just drop it, you know, in there, right? Get yourself a whisk. You know what? Hey, listen, a fork does work good in this, you know, application right now anyway, as long as you're using a cast iron skillet. And that right there is just chicken broth. Look, I'm just putting it in there, but notice my right arm, wrist, hand, everything never stops moving. Then you just wanna keep going till you reach your desired thickness. I taste it and find out, do I wanna add any more salt to it or is it just right? Okay, now, look, I'm gonna make my grits. You guys gotta follow the instructions that's on your box for your grits. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my two cups. This is my chicken broth, right? This is what sends them over the top. You guys wanna know where the flavor comes from and what makes, you know, uh, shrimp and grits or any type of anything like that, shrimp and grits, fish and grits, whatever you wanna put on top with the grits, especially when you're putting the cheese in there, this right here is what gives it the flavor. So let's bring this to a boil. Then I'm gonna go ahead, put my grits in the inside. Then we are gonna cook these low and slow. We are gonna add that cheese and we are gonna go from there. Now here's a pro tip. If you look in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see my cast iron skillet starting to get hot. Listen, you want a hot skillet when it comes to, you know, blackening your uh, fish, right? So what you're seeing is I just used some Cajun, that's that Cajun black, and listen, for me, I put a little bit, a teaspoon of uh, Creole kick in there just to just set it off, right? So once you got it coated, 
you got it seasoned well, put it in your pan, and then, you know, your other side, as you can see right here, I'm just, you know, seasoning it now. Now, look, two and a half to three minutes at 400 degrees, and then you can flip. If you want them to be darker, you can, but you got to watch out. There's a fine line in between, you know, between, you know, having it, you know, blackened with that look and having it overcooked. So, we got our grits done. You can see the bell pepper in there. You can see the green onion. You can see the uh, andouille sausage. So these are done. This is the thickness that I like right here. So you guys can see. It's up to you. You make the grits how you want them to be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just start my plating. We'll just put a little bit in here like this. Now remember, it's up to you guys. It depends on how much you make and you know, what you're gonna do for your family or whoever you're cooking for or whatever. So we got that. Let me set this off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these pieces. Now these two, this piece right here, this is the tilapia. And these right here, these two right here is the blackened catfish. I'm gonna go ahead and put this catfish on here. Man, you can just see how moist it is. Right, we'll put that on there. But wait, we not done. This is that Cajun gravy. You guys see that? But so check it out. Here we go. Now look, I'm just gonna put a little bit around the edge like this right here. Come across that catfish. And we'll just come just like you see right here. And we'll just leave it just like that. I promise you guys, this right here, this is a soul food breakfast or a brunch. Hey, since it's Sunday, let's just call it a brunch and let's get down. You guys tell me what you guys think about that. While you're thinking about it, you know what? Just go ahead, check this out. Gotta hit it with a little green. And nothing wrong with these green onions, you know, to give it that garnish. All right, look, it's enough talking. Let's just go ahead and, you know, break it. Oh man, look at this. Let's make sure we get a, get ourselves some. I'm looking for a piece of andouille sausage. There we go. I want it all. Here we go. Cheers, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that smoked cheese, it's not too strong. You guys gotta be careful. Don't put too much of it in there. Cause listen, we're not trying to overpower the dish, right? With this right here, hey, we paid 22, $23, maybe even $25 for a bowl of this right here. And with this blackened catfish on top, either that, tilapia, be honest with you, any blackened fish that you put on top, that'd be great. But hold on. When I tell you guys a lot of times at the end of my videos, I say I don't want to spoil it. This, I really don't. I say hands down, this probably right here is probably like the best fish slash shrimp and grits. Only thing would have made this, you know, hands down 100% the best is if I would have made some blackened shrimp along with it. But other than that, you guys got to try it. Make this, make sure you put that gravy. Hey, it's a combination of all of that in your mouth and it just explodes. You know, it's perfect. Hey, so this is going to be one of the shortest wrap ups ever because I'm about to get down, folks. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm about to do, folks. I'm about to eat. Peace.